We're still looking for more oil as well. We found one oil patch, but it was pretty puny. Uh, it was like 300%. So it, it'll start us off, but it's not going to sustain us, certainly. So any oil that we can find would be amazing. Probably take a look at our map. Um, because I probably won't notice oil in, unless I look at our map, so let's do that. The goal is still to launch a rocket? I believe so. I honestly actually don't know, but I'm pretty sure it is. There is a, there is a satellite launch uh, stat, so <laughs> I, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, so there's only that one oil right here. Alright, so it looks like we got the majority of this iron patch here at least. Uh, it does look like it continues north and maybe even south. But for the time being, we have 100k iron here. That's quite good. Just gonna mine a little bit to the west and a little bit to the south just to see if how far it goes. Probably not gonna try to uncover the whole thing, but it's it'd be good to know. We'll have 80 walls. The range on the turret is actually surprising me. I think I don't think it, I think that's the default, but you know, since we're working in such a tight space, it seems like it's a huge range. Looks like a lot of a lot of iron still. Oh, we have our lab made. Where are you? I'm making, I'll make some inserters, then daisy chain them. Uh, I would put them otherwise, but I think that's the best bet. I don't normally daisy chain my labs, but this is by far the most efficient here. Okay, so I think we can afford two more labs, or one more lab at least. So let me make some area for it. Space. My hotkeys to what I'm used to. Oh. Alright, so we have we now have three going. That's pretty good. Uh I mean, that'll, that'll basically triple our time here. I doubt that we're going to be able to keep up with this, but we'll try. I'm, I'm a little wary because I don't think it's going to be very difficult to automate here uh, with our current setup. But let's grab all of our coal and everything that's been going. Um, I'm still a little bit worried about coal in terms of how are we going to mine it. But I guess we're getting to that point where electricity is more of a given and we'll be able to use some filter inserters. So we should be fine, but we just need to get that whole infrastructure set up. We need the belts. We need the inserters we need uh the room to put all the belts on inserters so i'm not really sure how we're going to do that yet because all of our coal stuff is right here our and our base is right here so we might actually want to move everything that we have here to maybe in the middle and use this water pool instead um, that way it will be a little bit more centralized and we'll, we'll have a little bit more room to work with But I will be doing that in the future, not right now. Restock on coal, everything. Okay, 
So, I mean, it looks like we're, oh, wow. We're caught up on, on our, ore, on our ore. So this is nice. We're getting to the point where we can add more production things and we're not at the bare minimum now. I still think I want to follow this up a little bit and then maybe bring it to the right and connect it here. No, no particular reason, just, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna do it somewhere, might as well do it somewhere where we know there's good stuff. One might say that I should be looking for more copper though, and I think you're right. I'm not gonna go that far up. I move our turret though. to do my own work. How dare you turret. <laughs> this thing goes on forever. All right. I think that's all I, I need to see here, really. I was thinking of bringing it further, but we really don't need it. I, I'm starting to think that I really need to go find more copper somewhere. It doesn't look like it's going to be there. I think we're basically out of copper. This is all the copper we have left. Since we found some... I should have brought the turret with me. Well, since we found the oil over here, I'm going to check this out a little bit more. And we'll see how this goes. Level seven. Nothing important. <laughs> it it does increase our uh, mining speed a little bit, so that's nice. Waiting on you, turret. Okay, fine. I'll do my own work. Jeez. Go. There's some copper. It's not a lot, but. It's something. Is that uranium? That's uranium. So we found two patches of uranium so far, which is awesome. If only we had the research for it, but we are nowhere near that. And therefore it is actually a waste of space for us. <laughs> Can't even mine it. Oh wow, this looks like a large uranium patch. Not large, but a good amount. We found both uranium and oil in this in this area. I don't know if that means I should continue on in this area. But I guess I will. If we look at our map, that's what we're at so far. I I really do wanna get the middle of these areas here, just so we have places to build once we're set. But I'm still still looking for that copper. I don't feel safe without getting the copper yet.
So I'm just going to head northeast. Uh, no particular reason. I just feel like going this way. Look at my turret. I might actually have to make my own ammo soon. Looks like we're running out. I did leave a good amount in the other turret that's near our base, but too lazy to go over there right now. We do have a lot of iron, a lot. We have 1.1k. That is pretty refreshing. Started with nothing and now we're here. Buy more coal. Okay, that's that's good. As long as it's not more iron. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to more iron, but I'd really like the other things more at this point. This seems like a pretty large patch of coal. Oh, hey. You got this turret. We're gonna be in big trouble once uh, I run out of ammo, but for now, you got this. I believe that's good enough. I'm going to, I'm going to mine this area out a little bit. This place is somewhat closer to our iron patch. So if possible, I'd like to use this as our full supply for now. Uh, if we were to make a larger base. The plan I think is going to be mine mine all this bring it towards the middle over here filter smelt and produce i mean we do have a large iron patch here so maybe that's not the best idea maybe we should look towards the future and actually actually melt here and then produce here but I don't know. I mean, these are, even though this is, seems a lot larger. No, it's, it's not that far off. It's only double the size or so. I don't know. But there's a lot going on here that I'm not sure I know what to account for yet. Where is that darn copper? This looks like another large patch. Okay, that's done. So I, I guess if we want to move on, oil is our next, uh, next concern. So let's get automation too, I guess. We need that for fluid handling. It's actually pretty cheap. Also, we're not building any. ABC, always be crafting. Okay, so the ore over here stops. We haven't determined if it stops that way yet. It looks like it keeps going this way. I'm going to follow this down a little bit.
I was say it looks like pure coal, but no. It has just the right amount of mix to where I can't mine it properly. Kind of irritating. Change my hotkeys and now everything's wrong. I always keep on bringing those up. Alright, so it looks like I might as well just connect these two together and we'll just put a couple walls down, compensate. It's nicer to have the open areas a little bit more. Um, it does make it a little bit more dangerous for us because of the potential to collapse. But as long as we put down our walls, we should be fine. one coin each, right? Well, it's not it's not a hundred coins at least. <laughs> That's all I can tell. Very. We've got a good portion of this mined out. That's nice. Stone on copper though. But coal and iron seems like we've got them locked down right now. So that's plenty good. But it does look like we're gonna have to go scavenge for coal, uh, copper. Basically any, any patch we find, we'll just have to start mining that one. Even if it's not that much. Because I'm to about 400 bars left, and that won't last, especially if I keep on making science out of it. This is nice though, because uh, since I'm only making science, basically, uh, we're being very efficient with our resources. We're not being very efficient with our time, technically, but. With our resources, it's nice because really the only thing you need to do to win the game is to just research stuff, right? And then eventually, once you get to the amount of research that you can get your spaceship, your, your rocket ship, um, then you just need the materials to make it and then you're good to go. You don't need to have all the fancy turrets or armor defenses or anything like that as long as you survive. Uh, so speaking of which, I'm going to go and go back to our main base now and get rid of all this iron. And, you know, when I say get rid of, I mean, um, melt it. Now I have some coal down there, but I'm too lazy to go get it. It's too far. The, the way isn't straight. I'm lazy. Still, still more. We're, we're plenty good on our iron. Looking for a nice patch of copper. I guess it's right there is our best bet. Everything else is pretty, pretty bad. We have 500 copper over here. Uh, we have two miners to work with, so we should be able to grab them.
Only 13. Huh? Okay, that's not what I was looking at. Hi, friends. Yeah, I really want to get some grenades. I think grenades would speed up mining considerably. Uh, we did find some coal. We're still on lookout for... for copper. 21k coal there. Oh, we have... Oh, I noticed that we found stone. That's actually very good. I didn't know it was that much. Okay, cool. But we're, we're still on the lookout for copper. So I'm, I'm just scavenging copper right now. Or, what the heck? 76. I can deal with 76. Where's the. There's like 400 here, right? it all here? Is the map lying to me? <laughs> What's going on? Alright, so we found it. Oh. Oh. Careful. Found some copper that we can work with. Only like 500, so it's not going to last very long, but only more than we had. Okay, let's... Uh, we want fluid handling, so for that we need... Engines, there we go. So let's continue and head back up here. I'm gonna connect these two for alternative pathways. Any way to make our way back up easier. Quite annoying to have to backtrack and then every time you have to go through an obstacle course to get back. Like I said, I I, I really want to see how grenades work here. Um, I don't think they're going to be great. Oh, hey, there's cool. I don't think they're going to be great, but I think it would, would help speed it up, you know? Uh, I think it'd be very expensive to use, but... Time is money. It seems like this is a, yeah, it's a continuation of this vein. So maybe this vein is actually one entire set. It looks like it continues up all the way up to here. So that's actually pretty, pretty awesome. It's actually uh, a shame that there's this water here now, because that's actually going to be in our way if, when we try to route, route this, but... Underground pipes exist, and underground belts exist, so... Not that big a deal. Hey, you know, I, I never noticed, but we're actually getting one EXP more than we were before. Yeah. OP. I guess the extra levels are increasing the amount of EXP. I'm not sure the scaling on that is, is, is great, but it's better than nothing. Sure. Where is my copper game? I am in desperate need of it. I can't start my legitimate base without copper. 
I don't even need that much. Copper early game isn't really that necessary. Well, I mean, it's, it's necessary, but it's not needed in the high quantities that you need iron in. I mean, look at these amounts. It's so pitiful. I mean, do I continue up following this vein? Looks like it changed into stone. I guess I can continue it down this way and see if that continues to be stone. We'll have to go back and deposit all of our science soon though, because I think we have a deficit in red science at the moment, so I don't think our science is actually working. But it does look like we've we've run into a lot of stone here, so that's actually really nice. That means we have three out of the four ores that we need. To at least make some headway into mid-game which is like oil stuffs. Oil's gonna be a tricky thing because I don't know how we're gonna spend it. Because the majority of the oil should go into our science, like everything else is going right now. And that means that we're basically gonna be making blue science out of it. Blue science needs uh it needs uh, solid fuel and uh advanced circuits, I believe. Out of plastics at least. So that means I'm gonna need the plastics and I'm gonna need solid fuel in some form. And you know that's that's doable with the amount of oil that we have, it's the three hundred percent. But it's gonna be a little rough. We're finding more uranium than we are oil or copper. Well, that's about equal to copper, but oil at least. But it does look like we found a stone vein. Look at all the stone. That's pretty good. But okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give up this area and I'm gonna go search somewhere else because I I really need to find that copper, and we might as well look for new areas. It'd be kind of funny if all the copper was right here. <laughs> uh, do I want to cut through this and check? Probably. I'm gonna have to mine this stuff anyways, so might as well do it now. Has more pathways to take more uh it'll save us more time in the future i think or maybe not maybe maybe we'll have grenades in the future and mining will be so easy i wonder how robots work with this <laughs> because if the robots can clear out this sand uh the rocks pretty easily then as soon as I get my personal robo port, you know, game's over. <laughs> then we can actually play the game, actually, I guess. So it looks like no ore. Uh, okay, a little copper. I'm gonna continue this to the left until we connect, and then I'll go up and down, I guess. Oh, hey. I like that. Uh, I like it when it auto completes. The music made me think that my turrets were going, and I had no idea why. <laughs> it made me scared for a moment. Okay, well, looks like this copper is by itself. Uh, 
So, where are we gonna find copper? I mean, it can literally be wherever, but I'd very much like it to be somewhere near our current uh, area of operation. It's up here. Okay, we made our. Actually, ran on green science? That's so weird. Alright, so what do we want to do now? I guess break this up a little bit more. I don't know. I guess we just need to explore more to the east or somewhere, I guess. I'm actually going to bring these up to our main base and then start using these for steel. I think steel is going to help us out a little bit. We are running low on coal now, which means that we need to mine more. So it's about time that we get our filters up and things like that. Been dreading the day. A lot of, a lot of logistics going into that. I don't want to do it. We got an infrastructure of mining up and electricity and all that. Uh, let's see. How can I la launch a rocket in a cave? I don't know. I wondered that myself, honestly. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I, I thought the whole point of this was that I was actually stuck underground. But, you know, I guess I'm reinforcing the racket so much that it's just going to pierce through the ground and get me to safety or something. Who knows? Alright, so what I think I'm going to do... I mean, we have this water here. So we could turn this into electricity and then bring that over here. Or we could just bring holes from over here to over here. I think eventually I do want to bring our electricity to right here. Because as, as I said before, it's more in the center of, of everything. But I'm too lazy to change our ways. So I'm just going to bring our poles over there. Hopefully this doesn't obstruct our walking. Interesting. We ran out right here. We're going to have to buy more wood. We're at 1.5k now, so that's nice. We're, we're we're really on par with our walls. Basically, every 100 walls we spend, we get 500 coins. And 500 coins is 100 walls. So that's pretty nice. Again, that's in equilibrium. Uh, let's go buy more wood.
feel like this is some sort of shrine area. <laughs> Okay. About those, let's buy let's make a couple electric mining drills. And then some belts. Oh, what is this? Loader. What is this? Guess we'll make one. Pretty expensive. Better be good. Are there any other new items? Interesting. In the meantime, we'll, we're going to clear this out, this area out, so we can get some miners in here. And then uh, we'll start mining the coal and then uh, putting it into some chests. And then eventually we'll try and get some belts over to our main electric area and start feeding it that way. The main issue here is going to be that we're going to be using up our electricity a lot faster, which means that we're going to be using up our coal a lot faster, which means that if I'm not auto feeding it, I'm going to have to manually feed it, which means that I'll have to be over there a lot more often. Um, so it's probably in our best interest to, to get the belts up and everything sooner than later i don't want to do it right now so i'm not and maybe that that means we'll suffer in the future but <laughs> this is what i'm gonna do the belt leading into a chest so that means no inserters, you're saying. Okay. Interesting. Well, we can try it out. Oh, they had these in the tutorial in the campaign. This seems very strange. has a filter on it too that's pretty nice uh but i don't the other way no it has a belt at the end Like, instead of it, yeah, but am I doing this wrong? Doesn't seem like it. I don't know why I would use this though, because uh, it this takes up more space than a uh, stack inserter. I guess it doesn't look like it uses electricity though, so maybe that's that's it. I don't know how that works though. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to widen up this area. So I want to get enough space for us to put a belt, put um, some miners down, and some inserters. So 
I'm probably probably just gonna mine this section right here. Again, we're not gonna try to supply everything right now. I just wanna get I wanna get some coal in a, in a chest that I can come up and pick uh, because this stuff here is nice. All the uh, burner mining drills that we have set up, but it's kind of annoying to walk all the way down over there all the time. I am just looking to make it a little bit easier on us. We're just gonna... Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, well, we had, a, we had a cave in. That's my bad. Uh, little did you know, I was just doing this so we would get more EXP. Because I, you know, I'm a smarty. This is an infinite farming method, if anyone wanted to know. All I have to do is set up a boss and uh, have this run overnight and you know, you'll be good. The, okay. Um, the end with a belt on it has to be attached to an actual belt. You can also adjust the direction with the R. Problem before was the direction was wrong. Okay, uh, we'll try it in a second. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, we're just gonna put up a bunch- oh, no, oh, cheese. <laughs> Did it again. Reverse it and then put it from below. Well, isn't that- Technically the same thing though. Uh maybe. You may be right. Or not. <laughs> I thought it went underneath, so I thought you I thought you had it. No. What? How did that work? Why why is that any different though from this? Okay, I see, but then isn't isn't this setup wrong? <laughs> Why would they have it so you would have to manually fix it every time? Kind of annoying, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Huh. The loader is definitely gonna solve our problems though. I think. I'm trying to think of how, how we would use this because it does have the filter in it, so that would help us and prevent us from having to use filter inserters. The filter inserters would do the same thing, but it'd be a lot slower. Probably cost more electricity. Uh, how would we do that? And what was that? Did the toolbar go up here? 
for a second. That was weird. Is it better as tag filter inserter? Yeah, but then you'd have to... Because it doesn't filter from the sides, right? It only filters the thing that's on the belt already. So that's kind of kind of meh, right? Because say you have something coming down this belt. You have some iron and you have some coal or something. How are you going to filter what you don't want? Because you can filter the iron, but then the coal will stay on the belt. You'd have to You'd have to take another insert and move it somewhere else. Well, like, because I, let's say I have. I can't set the filter now. How do you set the filter? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I've been doing that before. I, I've been trying. It only works when I just place it down, but whenever I put something else. What? <laughs> okay, once once I rotate it, it doesn't work. But then I need to rotate it for it to work properly. <sighs> does, it, does it keep at least? Let's try that. I don't know. I, I think it does work. I just have to finagle it a little bit more. But still, the, the problem remains. Um, say you had iron and coal on this belt, and you filter it to iron, so you can get iron through, but then you'll still have coal on the belt, right? So that doesn't exactly help me out, uh, because I want to get rid of the coal. And if it's not only coal on this belt and it's like coal iron coal 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 iron whatever then uh this whole entire line is going to be worthless so that means i would have to have an additional filter inserter uh next to it for for it to work properly and if that's the case then why even have this Because if you're going to use this, you're probably already filtered, right? For, for normal play, I could definitely see this helping. But for this map, I feel like it's not as useful as it could be. But, but it's cool that it's here. I'm not going to say no to it, but it is kind of expensive. Change the research because we don't have any green research. Green science, so. Uh, what do we want? A little bit of that. Because we're going to need those for our steel furnaces if we want to get that working. All right, so again, plan here is I'm going to widen this up and then make it so we can widen. I'll widen this up and make it so we can mine some of this coal and filter it.
Uh, we'll, we'll just try this for now. Hmm, can we do it this way? This probably won't work, right? <laughs> Filter only coal. And that's a no-go. All right. Yeah, so... I don't know about the loaders. The neat idea though. Definitely helpful in other places, but not I think. All right, so I want I want a couple filter inserters. We're gonna buy the make those. It's gonna be only for coal. And then we'll have one for stone, one f uh, I hate that. I, no, I don't like that at all. Also, sighted? Where? Am I being attacked anywhere? <laughs> Scared. Oh dear. Alright, so... I don't know how I'm going to do this because if I do this, there's a, there's a potential for things to get past this. So it might be in my best interest to do multiple filter setups. <laughs> what a pain that's going to be. Actually, at this at this rate, it's not that fast. Okay, I think that should be fine. We do need one for copper, though. Okay, all right. This seems fine. And I can definitely add more here later on. But primarily, again, this is just for coal. And apparently we, you know, oh, that was fast. We already have 80 in here. Neat. Okay, cool. So we're still under the same problem as before, wherein we don't have enough copper. But, but coal's on the way. Uh, there's always there's a little bit of copper everywhere, but it's just not not enough. We'll also have to look look at the drain on this. It's a lot faster than it was previously. So we're gonna have to worry about that in the future. So, uh, so with the evolution uh, notice that we got, is that only when we 
open up a new spot that they can be there because if it's they can somehow spawn and attack my base then I'm scared <laughs> really scared of what's gonna happen here but if it's only but if it's when they when I open it up then you know that's that's doable I just put down a couple walls in front of me and then shoot them and hopefully I I have enough to deal with it Uh, okay, we've already run into failure. And I'm not sure why. How did how did that many go go so quickly? All right, I didn't want to do this, but looks like they give me no choice. All you have to do is set up a multi filter, which basically means get everything. This is where I want to use a loader, actually. Loader, loader, where are you? I see. Okay, yeah. Loader, I see you. Problem was that, uh, Depending on what comes out of these, the f the filter inserter isn't fast enough to filter it properly, and sometimes it'll it'll go through, and then if it goes through, then the whole thing's screwed up. But this way, we'll do a little bit of this. So and here goes coal, and here goes iron. Here goes stone and copper. All right, I have reversed my decision or my opinion on the loader it is actually pretty cool perfect all right well cool. i'm quite pleased with this uh this is both stone and copper because there isn't a lot of copper coming through it's only just this this one producing and you can see there's only 30 left so very pleased with that actually that's quite nice all right cool Uh, what, what was I doing? <laughs> doing this. Doing this. Pick up everything. Um. Okay, so. What do we want to do now? Also, what time is it? <laughs> it is very late. I'm going to give it 10 more minutes. Let's get a plan going and then I'll probably call it for tonight. But I think we've gotten some pretty good stuff done. We started from nothing. We were right here. You now with nothing, nothing done. And suddenly, you know, we have all of this. Only hi, thank you for the follow. And so we have iron over here, we have iron over here, we have coal over here, we have a little bit of stone over here, and uranium for whatever reason. We found one patch of oil, and we're still 
looking for that elusive copper that shows up a little bit. 1.1k. All right. All right. Heading over there. Um, so we're looking for that, that copper vein. Once we find that, then I'd be focusing on more of getting a proper base going. Is it here? Nice. Good enough. So next time, I think what I want to do is I want to basically mine out this whole area that's right here. Just and then set it up in a proper way where I can get walls down, but not in the way. Um, we have so, kind of an example over here of things that we can do with it. Just have walls every once in a while and then belt around it. It'll be as... Spaghetti as it comes, but as long as it works, right? Uh, I'm also going to want to make this one, one of these our main electricity font because over here is nice, but it's a little bit out of the way in comparison to our other mining areas that we're going to need over there. I guess I should also get some radars. It never seemed like pointless but <laughs> uh but at least we'll be able to see the whole map at all times i guess it, do it doesn't come with the negative of attracting biters either so i guess that's fine um, another thing i need to worry about i guess is pollution because it does seem that uh the biters evolve and i'm assuming that's based on pollution but I guess I'm assuming wrong because checking our pollution map, pollution doesn't exist. So it must be only based on the time, not not on actual production of pollution. Good to know. Uh, did I want to do that? Probably not. Let's take up some of this back. Okay, with this we're basically out of iron. Queue up some more red. And then I'm just gonna connect this. I'm gonna go down here and we'll be good. Nice. Level eight. What is level eight? Level eight is stone bricks. That's pretty good. Not the most helpful. Considering I have now found our uh, stone supply, but good to know. I wish there was a copper <laughs> raw supply, but I guess that would be way too expensive anyways, so I probably wouldn't use it. Be some copper here. Yeah, 80. We, we hit the big leagues here. Love it. But I'm just, I'm just going to continue this down and then I guess we'll call it a stream here. The more interconnected this is, the easier I'll have it and the, you know, the easier it'll be running back and forth. I just have to be a little bit more concerned about the the ceiling dropping on us, but should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> Who knows? I, I still have no idea how exactly the cave wall uh, fallens work. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sure. 
it's going to move a little bit to the side so I can place some pillars down, but this works too. I, I do like, I like, do like finding the biters because it's free XP. Cool. Because like a eyes and a mouth. <laughs> I'm an artist. I know you can see it. Here's the whole body. And, uh, we'll need to work on those arms, but I, I think I can make this an arm and maybe this an arm and it'll be fantastic art. I think that's what we're going to actually work on next. <laughs> I, I think I could, I could make it work. This could be like a crossbow or something. I, I see it. I see it. But anyways, let's, let's save the game. Like a chocobo. Like mouth and... I'm not really seeing it, but... You know, that's, that's the whole purpose of art, right? <laughs> you can take your own interpretation. Top right is head. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I see it. And then you could say this is a reflection in the water. That's kind of funny. Neat. <laughs> but I think, and also, hey, Lamarius, how's it going? But all right, I think I'm going to have to call it for today. We'll take our Chocobo um, art. And we'll bring it back tomorrow. We'll do all those things I said. And hopefully we'll we'll keep it going. I think we have a good start. Good foundation. We just need to work on it a little bit more. We have a nice set of coins, I guess. We're not really making that much more money, but we're keeping even with our needs. So I'm pretty happy with that. Left side is head and right side is some X. He's swinging. Uh, possibly. Kind of see it. Not exactly, though. I was thinking, this is the whole head, two eyes, mouth, body, and then I'd, I'd mine this out here and have this be the arm. <laughs> hey, again. Art, you know, as long as you see something, it's it's amazing, right? All right, so only hi, Lamarius, uh, Afiko, EMU, everyone else who came by. Thank you so much. I appreciate the company. Uh, again, I'll be here tomorrow. We'll be playing the same thing. We'll try to get farther. Anyways, thanks a lot. See you guys later.